what what is your thoughts on you know getting habits to do things like that make space for things to happen because i think a lot of people make excuses of why they can't do it you know what do you think vanessa well, first of all, I just want to drop in a little bit deeper on the time frames that Jaren mentioned, because uh, in the yogic tradition, we call that time the Amrit Vela. And they say that that is a time where if you think of Earth as a square matrix and, uh, you know, you kind of just think of like us kind of in a square box traditionally during the normal hours in the Amrit Vela, we actually have like a position of an angle to the square box. So this is going to get pretty esoteric, but just go with me. <laughs> um, but when we're in that particular time frame, we're at an angle to the square matrix. So they say when you send up thoughts, prayers, manifestations, or, you know, for us yogis, we do our, our Kundalini yoga practice at that time, that we're able to actually cut at a diagonal through the square force. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're actually able to penetrate the matrix and actually send our vision, send our energy out into the universe in a more powerful dynamic. So um, there's so many teachings around those particular times being super powerful. And, uh, and that's one of them. And then they also call that time, uh, like the time that the angels are on the earth. And then when you're awake, those angels can deliver blessings to you. So I'm so happy that you talked about that time, Jaren, because it's very, very powerful.